Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just out here in the wood shop uh, and kind of wanted to do an update on the uh, new router. I put in my uh, shark here. Uh, as you can see back there, uh, there's a bit of yellow in the amongst the blue. I changed out the uh, Bosch Colt for a DeWalt uh, 611. There you can sort of see the uh, 611 there. I uh, really like it. it. The Colt is rated at one horsepower. This is rated at one and a quarter, but it really seems like it's a lot more than that. Um, it really has a whole lot more power. Uh, the Colt would really bog down uh, when you ran it in pine with a quarter inch end mill, uh, even with a four flute one like this, um, it would really bog down. Uh, and if you ran it more than about 50 thousandths uh, cut in 120 inches a minute, um, but this thing doesn't even slow down. It's awesome. Like, uh, I can pretty much run this uh, on, you know, two or three here, depending on the bit. Uh, quarter inch end mills, I pretty much run on two. Uh, eighth inch bits, I'll run on three. And then in pine, I can run... Uh, 120 inches a minute without any trouble uh, that kind of if you go much faster than that you kind of get a fuzzy cut but in MDF 150 inches a minute uh, is about what all the shark here will, that will do but it has no trouble cutting you know 75 80 thousandths so I had 120 inches a minute with the new router like you couldn't even begin to do that with the Colt but with this it just you know it really, uh, really cranks. And anyway, I kind of wanted to go through my uh, uh, bits here that I uh, commonly use. Um, that would have been kind of nice when I would, whenever I was kind of learning uh, all this stuff here. Uh, I bought some end mills from this twolink.com here. I'm really happy with them. They're they're armor mills. Uh, they're a four flute. Um, actually, they're I think they're meant for metal, but uh, they work quite well in the shark here. Uh, just you know, quarter inch shank, uh, and uh, you know I got various types here. Um, <clears throat> I got some. Uh, this is a quarter inch ball nose, and then this is an eighth of an inch ball nose. I find that I use the eighth inch ball nose uh, and the a quarter inch end mill are sort of my most uh, common use bits here. Uh, this is a, an end mill from uh, Freud, or actually not really an end, mo end mill, it's just a uh, an upcut, uh, you know, quarter inch uh, router bit. Uh, I don't really like this as compared to a four flute, this is a lot louder. Um, I couldn't, you didn't really notice it rather with the, um, uh, with the Colt because the router itself was so loud. But the uh, DeWalt here is so quiet that uh, these are just, or this one uh, is just ridiculously loud. It just sounds like a router, but with the uh, four flute, uh, you can sort of see there, uh, four flute router, or four flute uh, cutter there. It's so quiet, you don't even really hear the uh, cutter running. But uh, the um, but with this you do, so I pretty much have kind of retired this one. And also, a hardboard seems like it's really hard on... Um, Oh, really hard on these. I cut out a bunch of patterns earlier, uh, or a couple weeks ago, and uh, it really kind of put a black, uh, and or, you know, sort of blackened the end of the bit there, and actually chipped uh, one of the teeth, or, or one of the uh, cutting edges here, so I don't know, uh, I don't know if it's just a hardboard, or I don't know if hardboard and that brand uh, bit doesn't work well, but um, uh, another end mill here, or I guess it's not an end mill, but uh, another uh, flat cutter here that I use quite often is a half inch, uh, and I'll use this uh, for a large area clearance tool in like pockets and things like that. Uh, this just works great. I mean, it you can hog off a whole lot of material, and with the new the new router, I can run again, you know, seventy, I guess about sixty five thousandths and one hundred and fifty inches a minute is about the most I have tried taking off with this. Uh, it doesn't really sound like it taxes the router or the machine, so I'm sure I could go more. I just haven't really uh, had a chance to play with it and try and go uh, go more. Uh, this actually is a, another bit that I use quite often here. It is a an eighth of an inch uh, end mill uh, that I ended up getting from Rockler. Actually, it's not really an end mill. It's a router bit that's meant for inlay. It's just an upcut uh, flat bottom uh, router bit, but uh, they're really cheap. They had them uh, marked down on clearance where I think it was only like six bucks or, uh, or five ninety nine uh, for this, and then a bushing that would go in like a Porter Cable style uh, router. I, of course, tossed that away and just used this because I actually find this works quite well uh, for doing uh, you know uh, sort of detail cuts in uh, thin material like hardboard or uh, plastic this is a really handy one here uh, for fake raised panels I find that uh, you know one of these uh, bits here from Rocklers this was actually a pattern bit you can sort of see the uh, shank there where the bearing went on it but uh, it works quite well for uh, um, you know use in the 
in the shark there and this is nice if you're making like cabinet doors where uh, you know out of MDF where you want a uh, you know sort of fake raised panel in the center uh, works really well for that I haven't actually tried using this with the uh, with the new router uh, with the Colt I could run uh, about uh, 45 thousandths uh, and a hundred and 110 inches a minute is about the most I ever tried with this with the cold. It really kind of taxed it. Uh, I'm kind of anxious to try it with the, the Dewalt there and see what kind of uh, see what kind of travel speed I can get out of it. Uh, this is just a uh, 60 degree V bit here. Uh, this is great for lettering, you know, sign making, just kind of general use. I also find it works really well for centering the uh, <coughs> centering the router here. Uh, I as you can see, uh, this did not come with the shark here, although it, uh, you can buy the rails uh, from Rockler here to where it actually looks kind of like it actually is meant to. I end up putting a, uh, a rail here along the uh, x-axis, and then another rail here along the y-axis, and then I can use this. I can just chuck it up in there and then jog it over and use the corner here as my origin point so I don't have to mess with... Uh, you know, mess with, uh, you know, either marking in the center of this and using that as the origin or, you know, using the bottom corner of the workpiece and then having to try and get the workpiece straight. I can just use that. And then I, I, um, this, uh, rail here, I, I adjusted to where it is perfectly in line with the, uh, the edge of the X axis here. And the same goes for the other rail here with the Y axis. So I have a nice straight, you know, repeatable, uh, stop where I can just chuck wood in there run a piece um, and start over so that's that's uh, pretty nice for that I you know it's nice for uh, just having like an origin point here I had thought about maybe uh, putting like a hole down here or uh, something or other uh, that was a, a definite stop and then just like using an origin offset but I don't know if I'll ever actually mess with that or not seems like kind of too much of a pain but anyway I'm kind of rambling here uh, I just I kind of wanted to uh, go through some of my uh, router bits uh, there and uh, just kind of talk about that for a second because that would have been kind of handy whenever I started out uh, to, you know, sort of be able to see that and uh, kind of go through and, uh, you know, see the kind of router bits and stuff you needed. I'm sure there's other bits out there that are handy for various things. I, you know, I don't really have them. I guess I can kind of show you some of my other lesser used ones here. Um, uh, here's a... 3 8 core box. Uh, again, I'll use this for uh, you know fake uh, raised panels. Uh, another sort of uh, you know raised panel. Uh, one from Rockler here. Um, I kind of use that for border on uh, you know like text boxes and things like that. And then this is actually the one that it comes with is a 90 degree V bit. Uh, the 90 degree I think is just kind of too steep. Uh, I think. Actually, I may look for 130, I think it's 135 degree uh, uh, bit uh, here before too long. And then also here is another sort of fake raised panel uh, bit that um, I use uh, occasionally too. But these are kind of my go-to ones here. Uh, I just, uh, uh, you know, you can use other things in it and depending on your application, but these are kind of my most, most used ones here. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, click, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them.